for your kind introduction uh, of DGRF and also of myself, which is really an exaggeration, no doubt, because I am not uh, that much that you have explained about me. But I like to serve this BGRF and also Bhagavad Gita, I mean, this uh, Gita Shanga Bangladesh, sincerely, in order to make Gita a useful book not a book of knowledge only, not a knowledge box. Therefore, uh, I, first of all, I uh, have my honor to be president of BGRF, engineer Shantosh Chandra Sharkar, and also uh, the valued, uh, I mean, director of research, Dr. Paltu Dotto, who is also uh, an important guy in CBER, which, uh, which uh, really leads the world business and economics all throughout. And he is so busy that I can't dare to talk to him sometime because I find his uh, requ requests coming to him so enormously through me passing that I find that how does he really breath in, 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 in London having so much of burden of work of his own organization. Therefore, it is a pleasure for me that BGRF has allowed me to present my small experience uh, of sharing initial experiences of implementation of Gita Gram project in Bangladesh, which is a Gita Shangho Bangladesh initiative. This is the caption. I mean, it is the sharing of initial experiences of implementation of Gita Gram project in Bangladesh. Uh, is, it is not that ambitious as it looks uh, from the title. It is just an exploratory project uh, undertaken by Gita Shango Bangladesh. And uh, I'm really grateful to PGRF and, uh, and its associates for giving me this opportunity to present it and share it with all these big guys, uh, the wise guys, the, the, the galaxy of wisdom uh, for taking their, uh, their suggestions and that advice in order to uh, make our initiative an effective one. And <clears throat> on the eve of uh, just uh, taking the project Gitagram, uh, to the ground, uh, I'd like to take advantage of taking your uh, valued advice regarding the objectives, goal, and strategy of this project. In the backdrop of, uh, let me please have a couple of minutes to introduce why we are, Bangladesh Gita Shango is going to have this kind of project, not preaching the Gita only. Uh, in the backdrop of decades and uh, centuries of dry swimming with Gita, I should say, dry swimming with Gita, like talks, lectures, sermons, conferences, seminars, symposia, and whatnot, all over the world. And the status of our Hindu community is turning downward. Although it sounds very harsh, but I should say, that we are really going down. It is because we are lost in the din and bustle of the Western uh, civilization, of the Western influence and the doldrum of the noisy world where consumerism prevails and our message of Gita has gone to the corner of the world in order to be only a sacred book in order to read every morning or in the evening for the sake of punno, not for using it in our practical life. So our, the height of Vedic Upanishad, Vedic Upanishadic and, and Puranic excellence, this is almost in the obli oblivion. New generation in is now begging in a culture of cafeterianism. Cafeterianism, mean, I, I like to mean by this, 
is the picking up some good things from every religion or every culture and then follow it. That is, this is capitalism, a practice of picking the fractional truth instead of going to the total truth, which is given in Gita at the latest. Might be uh, this is over ambitious to, 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 to some to hear from me, but we, the Gita Shango, through the experience of last 33 years of long, strong struggle to preach Gita to every household in Bangladesh, in different corners, different districts, different Ukozilas. But we find that our current culture of ignoring the austerity and the care for our own life, following the Gita orders. So this kind of apathy, or I should say the ignorance, this should lead us to an extinction, cultural and religious extinction. Uh, and this rich heritage has to be got back. It must stop immediately. This down to earth. That it is, it is, I mean, this downward movement of our community. Everywhere, in, in Bangladesh, in India, and also abroad. And we think that to start somewhere is our, in our small, initi small initiative to stop it is the philosophy behind it. High thoughts, the philosophical talks, voluminous books and current practices of traditional mela, congregations, kirtans, pujas, etc., have limitations. These do not have the power to change the perplexed or baffled states of young minds. That is the most hurdling point today. These young minds profoundly bestowed with enough merit and enough mental strength cannot find ways to attain Gita purity or perfection. They have the example before them to follow. They have religious books, but their unsteady mind does not engage in those. This unsteadiness. Hello. This unsteadiness is created by the Western consumerism and also our mixed culture and civilization now. So therefore, a mix-up mindset full of shaky ideas about moral practices have got confused. Practices of different religio-cultural religio mix have uh, have given out intemperance, I should say intemperance, among the young. They are speaking and gestures have shifted from truthful paradigm to a so-called smart paradigm, losing the spirit of humanism, which is taught by our Veda, our Upanishad, our Puranas, Brahma Sutra, and latest by the Gita. They are in depressive disorders. So, this moral degradation, business ethics, corporate social responsibility are in the quickly depleting status from the viewpoint of Gita. 
in the world we have 1.2 billion Hindus out of about 8 billion, which is 15 to 16 percent. And 50 percent of the present world population follow Gita. They read Gita, they take the advice, but not succinctly or in a very disciplined way in order to transform their self or life. Because Gita is such a good book, if we forget the message, messenger, who told it, if we forget, if we only take the messages without messenger, then the messages bring forth valuable gift for our life to develop and to get into the divinity. Sorry, Dada, to interrupt. If you use the PowerPoint, it's actually not moving. Oh, so if, yes, yes. I am going to use the PowerPoint. It is just an introduction. Why? We are. Okay. Am I, am I really very late? So I am going to open the PowerPoint. No problem. No, 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 no. It's okay. Yes, thank you for your reminding me about the time. Uh, in Gita, we know that young people know how to live. Uh, excuse me, Dada. Dada, excuse me. Our initial discussion first was going to be done. Now, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We're going to give you our camera update. Okay, okay. Thank you. That is done before three. Yeah, yes, okay. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah, please continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Gita, we find that young people get know, get to know how to live. Old people get to know how to die. Ignorant people know how to be a wise man. Learned people know what is humility. Humility. Then rich people know how to have compassion. The dreamer knows what is an enchantment. The practical people know how to counsel with the Gita advice. Weak people know how to be strong. Strong people know how to know the direction to use their strength. Humble people know how to exalt age. Weary people know how to take rest. <laughs> Troubled people know how to have peace. Doubting people know how to have the assurance in their own rational. Sinner know how to salvation, how to salvation. And Sikha knows how to have moksha or liberation or emancipation. So with all this wealth or treasure in this Gita, we are ignoring them. So we have this uh, project, which is the Gita Gram project. Gita Gram means a village which is guided by the principles of Gita. And then it is now being presented by me, as you know. If you look, can you see the slides now? Yes, Dada. Yes, thank you. Can, can you go to full screen, please, Dada? Full screen. Nima here. Please go to full screen. Dada, full uh, screen, when we can see clearly. Okay. Go to presentation mode, please. Uh, presentation mode, yeah. Slide show and yeah, left corner, left corner, brother. Yes, from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I click, and that will that will. Uh... Yes, I know. But no, that, that now go on. No, do you have the full uh, full screen? No. Not yet. You have the full screen now. No, Dada. No, what? Uh, yeah, that's the problem. I dada, am okay. dada, dada, just a start, a start a slide show. Start a slide show and Tarpur, they will automatically get a full screen. Slide show. Yeah, slide show. That is what I've done. Oh. I just tell you, it's full. Okay. Don't tell me. It's okay, Dada. You, we can see that. Yeah, okay. Continue, please. Okay. Okay. The map shows you the location of the village. It is in the southwest region. You can see the location here? Yes. 
and, and that is Shoshikar village. This is the village we have selected. And then the concept of Gita Graham, it is a pilot project. I am not going to uh, the detail of it. Uh, the Gita Shangho uh, executive committee was all with me. Uh, and we have together made this project uh, in order to be implemented in that village. And this village, you know, in the, in the district of Madaripur. Uh, this Madaripur, as you know, is the birthplace of Raja Ramohan Rai, and also the birthplace of Sunil Ganguly Kongopadhyay, mm -hmm. uh, and also the, the, the village just by the side of the Shashikar is the Bajitpur village, which is the village of Pranavananda Maharaj, who is the founder of Bharat Shabas from Shango. So mm. these are the people uh, coming out of this place of Madaripur district. Therefore, it has a long history and a very rich history. And today also, there are many people who are really very educated and very, uh, so, yeah, I mean, the religious minded people. The concept of Gita Gram project, it is just a pilot project. We have initiated it in order, to, in order to have some lessons and experience because we had no experience beforehand. <laughs> and, this, and essentially uh, get uh, to know uh, the uh, basic rules of globally ideal life. Uh, a, from this village, we will take the lesson as to how a globally ideal life can be, can be built and transformation to be made to reach the deep of human qualities and even surpass those to be divine through karma, gyan, and bhakti as inscribed in Gita. And entry point we have selected the Gita Shangho committee and the Gita Shangha advisors they have advised and we have thought also considered for all the participants to be the shlokas 14, 15, and 16 of chapter 17. These are all about austerity of mind, speech, and body. Once these austerities are achieved, we feel and believe from the experience of our last 30 years that once this body, mind, and speech is controlled within the self, then much of the Gita and much of the human, human qualities can be achieved through these instruments. And so I will show the, uh, the, the shlokas in the later slides. Once this uh, psychomotor, cognitive, and affective domains of a human body or human entity, these are enriched with Gita's practical direction uh, by perfecting the body, the speech, and mind, the participants will have a pure odhishthan. Odhishthan means this total existence of my own personality. And the truthfulness and the self-control, which are the vehicles for searching the soul. Our soul has been lost in the ego. We don't have any soul anymore in our body. All has become enmeshed with ego. So soul and ego have started going all together. This is a very, uh, very shaky situation uh, we are in now. Now, why Gita Gram? Why you have taken a village? Because our Upanishad, our Vedas, they tell us to know thyself. Now this self is lost in ego, as, we, as I have said. We have to develop ourselves to recover that soul. This is the first rationale in order to enter into a village to transform the villagers in the way of Gita. Number two, bringing us back to Gita. Now, from the Vedic or Puranic ideas, we have to get into this Gita because Gita has been the latest uh, summary of all Sritis and Shrutis in our Hindu religion. What we are doing now are rather dry swimming, not swimming in water, but we are swimming dry on the bed. Something practical is necessary. 
it is the rational. And individual self is the focus. Here, the rational is the third rational is the individual self, not the community. Because in Shankirtan, we find that thousands of people go and listen to the Kirtan, come back to the village or his home or her home, and then stand again on his own platform of previous life. They did not transform. So Gita principles under close monitoring of Gita Shango and be family concerned should be the rational for going into the Gita Gram, not the common all people at once. We have to treat one by one. And I will then let you know how we have planned the stages of this kind of intervention. Then number four is transform the Odishthan. Odishthan means this human entity, which Bhagavan Sri Krishna told in Gita, Odishthanam Tatha Karta, Paranancha Prithak Vidham, Vividhasya Prithak Cheshta, Doivancha Atto Panchamam. These five elements of human existence. Odishthan is the first one because this body is required. <clears throat> this Odishthan is with individual Shabhava and Shadharma. And therefore, Gita has acknowledged this Shabhava and Shadharma. And therefore, we have to transform the vritti and activities. Vritti means one's instincts, and activities are the activities which you perform every day. These have to be transformed in the Gita way. Otherwise, we cannot go for reaching the soul. Objectives of Gita Gram introduce the wider and realistic approach of Gita among the Hindus. Number two, impart practical training to new generation about which the president of BGRF was talking a few minutes back that the, our young people, this young people of, I, I think this new generation, impart practical training to new generation Hindus on austerity of self-empowerment. Uh, and third is uh, gradually change attitude of the Hindu youth by making them understand the integral principles of Gita, not distorted principles. Not only the principles in karma yoga alone, not only the principles in wisdom or the jnana yoga alone, not again the principle of this bhakti yoga alone. We have to have the integral notion in our young people. And then number four, the objective is to expand doubts and perplexities from the life, from life, and gradually establish truth. We are now feel shaky to express our truth. We are being oppressed by many people in the world, but we cannot stand with truth that yes, we are a, an entity. We have the same authority to live in this world. So why should we be ignored? And exerting moral courage according to Gita. And number five, mark a difference of shaktik lifestyle in the village from, shakti, from the lifestyle with mixed gunas of the other villages or the neighboring villages. These are initially the five objectives of this Gita Gram project. And overall, overall goal is Shashikar village in Bangladesh wins the flagship of real Hinduism. The people from all over the world will come and see Shashikar village people with the enlightened face and mind and ready to be the divine. And Shashikar village shows others to follow the path of Gita in real life. These are the overall goals. Although these two look very confined and myopic, but still, we have been confined within this village because let us be a bit experienced with the 
people. Otherwise, we cannot go for the country or the world uh, at large. Therefore, we have to have some time more to, to self-encounter ourselves. And then strategy for the development is intensive demonstration of austerities and other practical instructions of Gita. Then effective monitoring of Gita Shang by Gita Shangho in the first year. We will show the sequences of yearly graduation from one step to the other in the next slides. But at the time, for the time being, I call the strategy, second strategy is effective monitoring of by Gita Shangho in the first year and gradually phase out. We will not be there anymore. Once they, sorry, once they themselves are ready to accept Gita principles in their own life by themselves. And then replication of good practices elsewhere within the country as much as possible. This is the strategy because all, uh, just at this moment, there are quite a number of names of villages who have requested us to go with this project over there. We are not going just now because we have to earn the experience from this Shoshikar and then go to those villages later. Make this program cost, time, and energy effective. Because we have to go from Dhaka to Shashikar village, which is about 150 kilometers from Dhaka. And it takes time, it is costly. Therefore, we have to be cost effective, time effective, and energy effective. And the last strategy is that strict program evaluation, sorry, strict program evaluation by interested national and international professionals. Maybe we will be inviting Dr. Datto and his professional colleagues to come to Shashikar village to test whether our program has been successful or not, whether the people, our new generation, or the old ones or the male ones, they have taken the Pali principles for their life to be transformed. Now, uh, Hawaii Shoshikor selected, not because we have about uh, 680 villages, uh, 6,800 villages in our Bangladesh. Why Shoshikor alone? Because for the present time, we find that demographic characteristics and also the uh, physical characteristics and the human characteristics, these characteristics fit or congenial to, to the outlines we have now prepared for implementation of the project. And in demographic characteristics, we find that the village has 8,000 people and about 100% is Hindu. And Hindu households are about 2,000. Number of primary school is eight. I find scarcely any village in Bangladesh which has eight primary schools in a single village. This is really a surprise, but there are because they need that. And then number of secondary schools are two. One is co-education, another is girls exclusively. And the college established in 1973, which is quite a good college. And this school, as you have seen, this co-education school was uh, uh, instituted as back as in 1942, uh, before even the birth of, uh, I mean, independence of India and Pakistan, within Pakistan. Then temples of different deities, there are 16 temples. We have no dark of tem temples to station our project. Therefore, we have quite a good background and a springboard in order to dance with the project. Temple of different duties, six, uh, uh, deities are 16. And graduated Hindu doctors now, I don't know whether these figures are correct or not, but I have collected it orally. Uh, there are 25 doctors from that village alone, civil servants 20 from that village alone now, and Hindu heads of local educational institution. All educational institutions are headed by the Hindu uh, guys who are very straightforward and very stubborn people, educated people, sitting Hindu UP chairman, 
in your Punishad, you know, the lowest grade of Bangladesh administration is the Union Punishad. And the head of that institution is Hindu now, he's the chairman. And village gross area is about five kilometers, five square kilometers. I don't know. This may be a bit wrong, but. Uh, and the physical characteristics are that 150 kilometers from Dhaka, road by road, and uh, one and a half hour from Dhaka journey. Within the village, you have Paka and Kacha roads, and uh, temple construction is Paka and semi Paka. Human characteristics are all very good, and uh, because the religious mindedness is 100% yes, religious practices, institutional temple and household, all the threefold uh, practices are there, as we are in Bangladesh know, and in India. And fascination, fascination for Gita is 100%. Behavior of uh, new generation is mixed, because as I have said, the Western culture and this so-called smart culture is entering into the village even, and they are molding their mind and behavior. Uh, and the uh, composition of uh, sectarianism, that's the problem in Bangladesh. Of course, in India also, sectarianism. And mainly Vaishnavism, Shaktiism, then uh, Shakto, then Shoibism, uh, Matuaism, uh, and, uh, and other isms are there. Uh, I mean, these are the doctrines from different gurus or different sects heads of the sects, sex. these are there, but all are, they have the common faith in Gita, no doubt. Mr. Chakraborty, Varna Chakra, please uh, ring the bell when I finish my time because I may take some more, some time, which is uh, going beyond your I, time limit. I do, Dada, you have 10 more minutes. So I thought that Pardon? I need to give you a signal. How much? 10 minutes? 10 minutes, yes. Then we'll have the long discussion. I think so. When we'll okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I will invite invite opinion from the uh, wise uh, uh, audience. Yeah. I will have to have that very valuable thing. Now this I can skip, I think, parallelly first to catch up the Mili. Mili, I have said, because Gita Gram Shoshigar has given us a very uh, unique uh, atmosphere and uh, environment in order to uh, implement this project. Therefore, I have we have to catch up the milling. And next is initial steps. We have prepared the concept paper with all introduction, objectives, goals, vision, and mission. And uh, rules of Gitagram committee formation, they are already drafted and shared with them. Papers shared. And first visit was made on 25th March last month, very recent, and held a meeting with the important personalities of the village, including heads of uh, educational institutions. And uh, most important of them, most important of them are the uh, teachers of uh, the, uh, the school, college, primary schools, and also the uh, local uh, leaders. And proposal was placed to the body, opinion sought. Initially, there was a mixed opinion. There were uh, not opposition, but alternative options, etc. But overall, the meeting welcomed the proposal of Gita Shango and demanded the project. This is just a uh, slide, just a snapshot of the meeting, uh, which we held on 25th March. Initial steps, uh, Gita Shango pursued the matter and still pursuing, and a committee, Gita, uh, I mean, Gita Gram committee has been already instituted on 15th April, which we will get very soon for our authorization. And the preliminary list of households for the participants is being prepared. The gala inauguration of the Gita Gram will take place uh, in mid mid uh, uh, mid May, uh, in the village, with the Gita Joggo, as you will be happy to see 
that a Gita Jaggo is proposed to be held over there Sikhu, in order Shujit. to just open it, open the Gita Club. And actual project activities are designed to start from that time that is mid-May. The three-year program for development of Gita Gram in Shoshita. Uh, transformation of individual self to start with practicing Gita advice and no dry swimming anymore in the project. It is our vow. It is our promise. No dry swimming. We will have to practice it, demonstrate it, and find it before our eyes that they are able to do this. Stages planned uh, are introductory, that is assembling in the temples, etc. I don't go into the detail. Practical training of austerity, and thirdly, introduce karma, gyan, and bhakti yoga systematically throughout three years of time. So the introductory part is the part to be very meticulously done in the first phase, first year of the program. The second and third year will be followed by training to the more and more households. And starting program, hopefully, from mid-May. So would you please bless for us that we can start this from mid-May. Entry point for life into Gita. This is the Gita Bhavan. Karma, Bhakti, and Gyan is in it. Enter here first for austerity of body, speech, and mind. This is just an image, not actual Gita Bhavan in Dhaka. We have not yet been able to construct a good Bhavan, a very pleasant Bhavan like this. But we have a plan to do this. We have an imagination, a dream. So this is the Gita Gram, which we have imagined that we will put the villagers into this in order to make their life transformed in terms of body, speech, and mind at first. And we know that in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Shaptada Shabdhaya, Shabdhatra Vibhagavad Yoga, there are three, uh, I mean, uh, shlokas. Devad Dijo, Guru Pragga Pujanam, Shocham Arjabam. This is the body austerity. And then Anud Vega Karang Bakkam, Shattam Priyahitam Chayat, Shaddhaya Bhashanam Chayvo, Bangmayam Tapuchate. This is for the speech. And Mano Prashada Shammattam, Mono Atma Vinigraha, Bhava Shamsuddhi Tieta, Tapamana Shamuchate. These are the three very specific shlokas uttered by Bhagavan Sri Krishna himself in chapter 17, 14, 15, and 16 shlokas. We have to follow this so meticulously that we will infuse the spirit into the young generation of those of that village. And the translation is this. The shloka 14 is worship of the devas, the twice born, I mean the Brahma, Guru, Deva, Dijo, Dijo means twice born, Gurus and the wise, purity, straightforwardness, countenance, and non-injury are called the austerity of body. Then speech, which causes no vexation, is true, as also agreeable and beneficial, and regular study of the Vedas, these are said to be the austerity of speech. This is not Gita Shango invention. It is invention of Bhagavan himself. And, and the last one is serenity of mind, kindness, silence, self-control, honesty of motive. This is called mental austerity. Now, my almost, yeah, I mean, the presentation is almost Varnadi. I think I am within time. This, this is the last functional slide uh, for the, uh, of the uh, 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 translation of the shlokas. An expectation from the audience, I expect, Gita Shanga expects from you all, overall 
the, that is the uh, opinion, overall opinion about the design and viability of the pilot project. Number two, specific comment on project objectives, specific comment on proposed training content and plans, further suggestions to make the program more effective, and blessings from all friends for our success in the new initiative. And thank you all from Gita Shankar Bangladesh for giving me a patient hearing. Thank you all very much. Looking forward to see you in the Gitagram project. All of you, one by one, to see how fair we are there and how we have started transforming the young generation. Thank you very much and Namaskar from me.